They're saying right now that one in three Australians are suffering from some kind of anxiety or stress. I think that's just a crazy stat. And you know, I'm, the reality is we're kind of all in this together, aren't we? We're kind of all facing like a season of uncertainty and great change. And it's normal to be afraid and it's normal to be overwhelmed maybe with worries. You know, um, I remember the first time I went skydiving that the instructor looked at me and he said, Ben, I want you to look at the camera just as the door opened at like 10,000 feet and said, I want you to smile at the camera. I'm telling you right now, the last thing I felt like doing was smiling at the camera. And right now, the last thing you might be, you know, feel like doing is smiling. I know that's the reality for me is that, you know, in some way we're all dealing with this feeling of worry. But the interesting thing about worry is the word worry actually means to strangle, constrict, and choke. So the reality is that when we are consumed with worry, it actually strangles and constricts and chokes the life out of us. Like we stop enjoying the things that we were kind of designed and created to enjoy. And so I just want to, you know, throw this out there today that, you know, we're all in this together, we're all kind of facing this challenge of, of being overwhelmed maybe by fear or feeling trapped by worry. But the good thing is that we're actually not in this alone, we're all in this together and we can actually own our fear rather than pretending like it's not there or doing things to try and mask it. You know, they say right now Australians are turning to two things, social media and the fridge to deal with fear and to deal with worry. But you know, there's actually a powerful thing that happens when we choose to own it and say, you know what, I am afraid about this. But here's the great news, is that we can start focusing on the things we can change rather than the things we can't. Like there's so many times where I've found myself worrying about things that I couldn't even change when in fact the things that I could change are right in front of me. And so, you know, wherever you're at right now and for all of us together, let's start focusing on the things we can change and let's stop worrying about the things that we can't. And one of the most powerful decisions we could make, a choice that you could make, that I could make right now, is simply to stop and to reach out to someone and say, hey, I need help in this area, or hey, I need to talk about this right now. This is something that I'm really worried and afraid of. And the exciting thing is that, hey, we're all in this together, and let's make some great choices to start focusing on the things we can change and stop worrying about the things that we can't.